are you guys doing so recently i have been working into this project wherein like people charge you a lot of money for generating even a thousand pieces 5000 pieces or like 10000 pieces of art nft art by like i'm giving it all for free i'm like whatever the amount of art might be all you need is your pc this code and the processing power of it right you want you can create n number of art pieces as you want any number of time just follow this video all along right also uh, i like to uh, i would like to bring to your notice that before using this just uh, follow all the instructions also like a lot of work has been put into it like do follow me do subscribe to my channel do follow the links and like uh, i'm just building out a community i'm giving it, i'm giving it back to the community from what i have learned i hope that you also support me support this particular project and like yeah let uh, i hope this project turns out to be a success right so let's jump up into the video okay so also do make sure that uh, you have all the installation uh, instructions down below if you face any problem do comment down in the video section and like i'll be happy enough to help it okay so now let's jump into the video so at first uh, all you want to do is uh, if you want if you know about cloning git clone you can clone it if you don't know anything about it don't worry just download the zip okay once you download the zip extract it into extract it somewhere and also uh, open it up on vs code okay so there you go there you have all the uh, all the necessary file listed and like uh, it should look something like this okay so it is already up and running but like for uh, instruction purpose i'll just explain it to you right from the start okay uh, one important thing that uh, you need node for this okay so node is a library which uh, if you don't have so just uh, click in here whatever is the version just install it also one more thing that this particular thing right now since it's a ui based there are few dependencies which are not available on windows but like it works perfectly fine on uh, mac and linux okay for windows it does work i link it down in the comments but like you have to follow a few steps right so if you do have a mac machine you're good to go if you have a linux machine you're good to go but like if you have windows this node creates a bit of problem uh, as in problem as in like you have to follow a bit more steps in order to for this to work okay so i'll li list it down below so like let's jump hop on to the video and let, let me show you how easy it is okay so once you are having this code right here make sure you are in this directory wherein this code resides uh just write down npm i okay this comment is given in the description check section so once everything is installed you will see something like this and after this uh all you have to do is uh type down npm run dev all okay once you hit enter um it will start off the code uh, let me stop this one and uh, show it to you how this actually works okay so npm run dev all so it will take some time stop it will do everything for you and open up the web page also for you okay so there you go so it's loading because it was previously running let, let it load for a while uh, okay now you're all set okay so now just enter upload the files do make sure that the folder structure is in such a way okay so the folder should be the parent folder then you have the sub layers folder and inside that you have many layers okay now you have to select the parent of it okay so the parent of let me show it to you in this particular manner so you have a parent folder inside that you have the layers folder and inside layers you can have as many number of images as you want so you have to select the parent of all these layers layer folders okay basically so just upload upload this once you're done uploading upload will be a success continue okay there you go all the things are loading up cool now uh put it put everything all aside you won't find this feature anywhere wherein you can configure all of the props all of the layers just by drag and drop and all 
I mean like in your, which is in your control right so this particular thing was very hard to implement but there you go I'm mean, like I put a lot of work but like here you go this actually works perfectly fine right so now this white area is your workspace okay so whatever comes inside this will be displayed in your final image if you want to increase this so just mention the number of pixels you want it to be right now which it is 400 by 400 let's say if you want to be want this to be 100 by 100 you there there you go this it's 100 by 100 if you want it to be thousand two thousand any number right but like let's for demonstration purpose let's keep it like 400 by 400 now this should be uh, this particular thing will be the background let, let me drag it in between and uh, also mention the size of it also uh, you can play around with this these sliders these, these also do the same thing but like I prefer to be as a manual input now just uh, place it nice and gentle yeah there you go so it's all uh, placed uh, right on top of that canvas and now let's place my octopus uh, resize it you see this octopus is going behind this background right that is because there are layers right so this layer has to come on top of this so just select this make sure the layer selection is octo octopops okay so now make it as one you see this is coming on top now adjust it accordingly okay so nice and gentle there you go this is uh, on top of the previous layer and now uh, this weapon okay this is also coming in behind it so what you do is do okay uh, there you go yeah you have your weapon now let me I like this eyes uh, let me resize it first uh, I like these eyes more I have made Sharingan eyes by the way uh, those are all my creation itself I have uh, made these arts okay do follow my collection as well uh, these octo aliens collection they're also great you know and also now uh, these eyes should come on top of the, these all layers right so make sure you hit the slider right to the towards the right and now place it in here so now you see the eyes are all properly set now this frown and click on oh sorry I did click on generate no not as of now click on submit it will resize it okay now the depth has to be more and like put it on top yeah there you go so now it, it looks a bit more furious you know and uh, also in here if you want to change anything you can just simply click on it let's say this frown there that's changing if you want to change the eyes there you go these all eyes do change right so I prefer this one uh, yeah this one and uh, let me change the props of these okay this one looks cool now resize it and just hit the slider to the right now it is on top and place it in here also uh, when I am resizing it you are under the assumption that it has to be um, right uh, all the way towards the border right but like no that's not the case you know if you want this can be small you can place it anywhere inside it okay so this is the canvas area anything inside it wherever you want or whatever the size be the final thing will be mapped to the size of this particular layer okay let's say this particular layer was of this size so everything inside though that layer will be mapped to that XY coordinates and that size okay so yeah that's something what, what I wanted to highlight and now this uh, shimmering thing so this has to be right on top of every all of these layers so just put it on top there you go yeah so now once everything is done now you see the final picture is coming out to be great let me make the 10 let me make 10 pieces of it hit on submit click on uh, generate now you will have all of these XY coordinates make sure that whatever you have decided is uh, I mean like whatever you have is uh, correct and uh, yeah that's pretty much all about it now you all you have to do is just create right just hold on 
it will process all your files and like it will redirect you to the next page right <laughs> by that time let me show you my octoillion collection um, right now there are only 100 of them but like i'll i'll create thousand of them and then also if you do follow all of my channels all of my links which i have shared i'll give be giving it out to them free right there's a huge give giveaway just support this particular project i'm doing it all for you guys right so once uh, you are at this page that means all your files were successfully created just click click on generate link now it will be all be compressed and like it tells you check generated folder right go over there check go to the generated folder there will be folder with a hash key there will be all the files which you want right all the files so let's check few of them how it uh, turned out there you go all of these look looks absolutely stunning so yeah also uh, you do have a compressed version of this in case you don't want all of this so you can just copy this zip and uh, you can use it anywhere you want right so now once you're done just you can uh, close this click ctrl c this will close and yeah you're done uh, that was as simple as that right you can create any number of nfts as you want anything any um, i mean like whatever i mean like any number of times as well right these are all for free no extra charge nothing no hidden fees as well right so just that just follow my if you click in here you'll find all of my socials just follow all of them i've put a lot of work into this i just want you guys to support me and uh, yeah that's all about it thank you guys uh just check out my sick alien collection do support it give it a thumbs up also make sure you hit the star icon in here so that more people know about it share this repository with your friends right if you want you can sponsor the project as well that will mean a lot to me thank you everyone thank you